I'm Anita Raja, I'm the Associate Dean for Research and Graduate Programs in the Engineering School at Cooper Union. This event is the Three Minute March Madness. We have a series of research presentations by our faculty and each faculty member is given exactly three minutes to get their ideas out and then we have the alarm go off and the next person comes on. If we want to understand the large-scale macroscopic structure, we have to shoot for simplifications from both ends. Right? I also direct the Vibration and Acoustics Lab, and we have the only anechoic chamber in New York City. So what my project aims to do is to assess the environmental and the economic impacts of making ethylene in this way, such that we could perhaps make a more sustainable plastic. If you were trying to track um, how an oil spill might get transported in the ocean, um, how a person overboard could be located or predicted where they might be in the ocean, um, or even bits of debris, uh, you know, from a, from a disappeared aircraft. We are going to build a live-in, living laboratory, a standalone, self-supporting habitat able to sustain the lives of its inhabitants. We believe this project provides an ideal forum within which to engage the entire Cooper community. The knowledge gained from those living with the land Waste steam in New York City. Right now, it doesn't go back. It's cooled by the drinking water, and finally, when it's done. So the research question is, how do we identify women who are at the highest risk of preterm birth, especially first-time moms? This is the formation of a toroid by bringing four magnetic dipoles together. The computer is provided with enough information so that a 3D graphic image can be displayed. So the basic problem is to take a standard radar system and throw some magic at it and do something which sounds very weird, which is use compressive sensing to recognize targets without forming an actual image. So there's several ways you can do space heating. Now we're gonna use electricity to do something really clever. So we are actually taking... So the project they're working on basically is to improve a genetic engineering technology called CRISPR-Cas9. This yellow shows you the oil and it tells you in which direction the oil is gonna go when time evolves. And so what we've been trying to do is use biomechanics to try to understand um, better and to classify and quantify obstructive sleep apnea. And we are studying the green roof at Javits Center. We also studied this during the winter months. Next slide, please. And that's it during the winter. Okay, so that brings three minutes of March Madness to a conclusion. Thank you.